Hi there, Sophia here. Happy New Year, everybody. I know I'm a little late. Unfortunately, I got the flu over the holidays. And from December 24th until this weekend, I have been feeling lousy. I have to say this is the worst flu I ever had in my life. And I've had chicken pox as an adult, but this really drained me. And uh, I had some time to think about the type of videos that I would like to present to you. First of all, I want to wish everybody a wonderful 2018. I started mine off with some health aspirations. I don't want to talk about resolutions. I think aspirations are much more uplifting and positive. And I just wanted to tell you a little bit about mine. I have decided this year, I, I lost actually five pounds already, but um, I wanted to take the weight off that has slowly crept up in the last 10 years. I've gained seven unwanted pounds and you know, it's spread evenly, but still it, it makes everything uncomfortable. My jeans are a little tight on my waist. I don't want to go up another size. So I figured this was the time. I love the beginnings of years because of the fact that we can always have dreams of what we want to happen during the year. And this is going to be my year to keep the weight off. I've lost five pounds. I'm hoping to lose two more. And of course, you're probably wondering, how did I do it? Well, first of all, I just want to say that I normally exercise every day for an hour. I'm on the treadmill for an hour watching YouTube videos or catching up on marketing and correspondence. It's a perfect time. I have a treadmill desk. So I walk at level four for about an hour. I work up a sweat. I'm not jogging, but it is comfortable. So I'm continuing to do that. But what I've changed this year is I've really cut back on the sugar. And whenever I have a craving to have sugar, I'll just have maybe a handful of semi-sweet chocolate chips. They are low in calorie, very low in sugar, and good for you actually because it has a high cacao content. So I have some of those, or I'll have some fruit, or maybe just a few pieces of dried fruit, but I'm a fruit lover, so it's not a sacrifice for me to just enjoy fruits. Berries, apples, all of them. The ones I stay away from are pineapple and watermelon because they are very high in sugar. And the other thing that I'm doing, which I'm very excited about because I wasn't sure if I was gonna be able to do this. I happen to be a night owl and I'm a writer, so many times I will write till two, three in the morning. And of course, I have dinner around 6.30. So between that and the late hour, I start getting hungry and start snacking around 11 o'clock at night. That is a kiss of death if you're trying to lose weight or trying to maintain your weight. So I have been doing since January 1st intermittent fasting. And simply, there are different ways of doing it. Some people are more hardcore and they do 16 hours of no food and then just limit themselves to eight hours of eating. Since I'm starting out, I always believe in baby steps. For me, it's not feast or famine. I have to do something that I know is manageable. So what I did was the 12 hour one. I get up in the morning, generally about seven. I wait until about eight o'clock to have my breakfast. And then from eight to eight o'clock at night, I can eat. And I usually time my meal now for 6.30. Then I wait till about 7.30 and I'll have dessert, which is usually an apple or an orange or maybe a handful of, you know, the chocolate morsels or maybe some nuts and some chocolate, but something that I feel is a treat. And then after that, by 8.30 or 8 actually, I get up, brush my teeth, and then I just have a big decanter of water and I just sip water. I'm not staying up that late either. I'm only staying up till about midnight because, you know, there's just so much I can take and I do love to eat. So I have done this now, I guess two weeks now, and it works. In the beginning, it only took me a few days to get used to it. It does take discipline, but the energy level at just knowing that I've dropped these five pounds by doing these two basic things, cutting sugar and that. And also, I've also tried to cut back on the fat content. I normally eat low fat pretty much, but you know, those all those days of the holidays, pizzas, things that have butter in them that are high and rich, you know, ice cream, we're getting together with friends, the family's here. I don't like to skimp, but that's how the, the pounds add on. So when I do want my dairy fix, I have my Greek yogurt in the morning, which I love, and I always have tangerine in it. I 
cut it up. I put a tangerine, I put walnuts, blueberries, and I also sprinkle about a tablespoon of chia seeds because that is wonderful. It's full of omega-3 and it has a high fiber content. And when I eat my Greek yogurt in the morning with my coffee, I really am full until lunchtime. Then at lunchtime, I generally have a um, whole wheat, pure whole wheat toast and I have sliced avocado on it, maybe some sliced chicken breast, or if I don't have chicken breast, I will just um, do the avocado with tuna fish or salmon, something that I know is high in protein, and then I'll have an orange or a banana or some type of fruit. And then around four in the afternoon when I'm starting to get hungry, I pop some popcorn in one tablespoon of avocado oil, which has a high smoke content, and I, I buy the Trader Joe popcorn. I just do it right on the stovetop. I don't like the microwave bags because they're full of chemicals. I like the natural way. I sprinkle it with some pink Hawaiian salt and it is delicious. I have that. It's very filling and it tides me over until nighttime where I have really made an effort also starting this January with cutting out processed and refined uh, foods like white rice. I'm now only doing brown rice and I go the easy way. I don't like waiting an hour to cook brown rice so I have been buying the Trader Joe's. They come in a little pouch. I take them out of the pouch, stick them in the microwave for three minutes and they're done. If you don't like the microwave you can do them stove top. It takes about 10 minutes to warm it up. They're nutty, delicious filling. Uh, the taste is nutty and it's it's lovely. So I have that usually with protein and a salad and veggies. And I don't feel that I am sacrificing because it's all good food, it's tasty, it's savory. I can put all the dress, all the seasonings I like. I love garlic, I love grilled onions or roasted. Um, I'm staying away from white potatoes as well because I'm better off having a sweet potato. So I am doing mindful eating. I'm just planning meals around what is delicious, nutritious, and filling so that I don't feel deprived. Anyway, I just wanted to share with you my journey. I will let you know if I lose those elusive two pounds that are left, but for now I'm delighted with the five pounds and uh, I hope that all of you reach your goals this year or your aspirations and thank you so much for watching. I wanted also to tell you that I am over the moon that I have now reached over a thousand subscribers. I will have a big giveaway coming soon. I'm excited to share with you all the new things that I have found and I will be filming some more videos this week but just wanted to give you a shout out and wish you the very best for this year. Again, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see more videos and have a great day. Bye now.